friends, today we are going to talk about the three Dharma seals. The three Dharma seals is the most basic Buddhist worldview and life view, which summarizes the Buddha's basic understanding of this world. The first Dharma seal, all actions are impermanent, explains that all existing dharmas are in the midst of birth and death and change since the beginning of time, and that they all belong to a temporary, impermanent existence. Our bodies, feelings, thoughts, and environments are changing at every moment, and nothing is eternal. Understanding impermanence helps us to let go of our attachment to transient things, not to be moved by the gains and losses of the impermanent world, and thus to gain inner peace. The second Dharma seal, all dharmas have no self, explains that nothing has an unchanging nature, and its existence depends on various conditions and factors. What we call I is only a temporary combination of the five aggregates of mind and body, and there is no unchanging self-entity. By recognizing the absence of self, we can eliminate our attachment to self, understand that everything is born of karma, and achieve liberation. The third Dharma seal, Nirvana Silence, states that Nirvana is the ultimate state of silence that transcends all birth, death, change, worry and suffering. Through correct conception and practice, we can put an end to the root causes of suffering and attain the peace and freedom of nirvana. These three dharma seals contain the fundamental wisdom of Buddhism. If we can follow and realize the three dharma seals at all times, we can obtain the right direction in life, set the clouds in motion, and ultimately achieve liberation from Supreme Bodhi. The three dharma seals are closely interrelated and logically progressive. All actions are impermanent is the foundation and premise of the three Dharma seals. It reveals that all things are impermanent and changing, which is the first step in understanding the three Dharma seals. After realizing the basic fact of impermanence, we can further comprehend all dharmas have no self. This is because when one sees the impermanence of things, one realizes that nothing has an eternal, unchanging self-existent entity. Then, having realized the selflessness of all things, we can move towards the state of nirvana silence. Because the mind is no longer attached to the impermanence of worldly affairs, it is liberated and at rest. On the other hand, without the clear realization of impermanence and selflessness, it is impossible to experience the state of silent nirvana. Therefore, the three Dharma seals have both a progressive relationship of gradual depth and a circular correlation of mutual cause and effect. Only by grasping the sequential logic and practicing it in our lives will we be able to fully understand the significance of the three Dharma seals and attain liberation. In the following, let us explain in detail the inner connection of the three Dharma seals. All actions are impermanent is the first of the three Dharma seals, which reveals the essential characteristics of our lives and is well worth experiencing in depth. The impermanence of all actions points out that all things in this world are in a state of flux from beginning to end and that nothing can remain unchanged forever. Recognizing impermanence can help us to let go of our attachment to transient things, to cherish the present time and to live in the present moment. We are often overly attached to transient things such as money, fame, looks, and feelings. When we deeply realize that these are impermanent in nature, we can slowly let go of our attachment to them. For example, a person may be chronically anxious about his or her appearance and overly concerned with evaluating it. After realizing that her appearance is impermanent and will eventually age, she can accept this natural law, reduce her anxiety, and find meaning in her life again. A person who is overly attached to a person or a relationship will suffer when that person leaves. When he realizes that all destinies will eventually change, he can slowly let go, share ESH the present moment and move on. By recognizing impermanence, we are no longer overly obsessed with fame, fortune and status, we become independent within ourselves, so that external changes do not affect us so much and we can remain stable when experiencing ups and downs. The concept of impermanence makes us naturally value time and life. Instead of wasting time in anxiety, sadness or resentment, we live in the present moment and cherish what is in front of us. Therefore, the concept of impermanence is a must for all of us, 
giving our lives more meaning and direction. By realizing the impermanence of all actions, we understand that we do not need to be overly obsessed with impermanence, but rather we should live in the present moment and share ESH every moment. We can also face the natural law of old age, sickness, and death, and alleviate our fear and suffering. This is the deeper meaning of all actions are impermanent, which reveals the nature of our lives and guides us to live each day with a peaceful and compassionate mind. All dermas have now self-explains that the existence of everything requires various causes and conditions, and that there is no fixed, unchanging, independent and self-existing self-nature or I. In our lives, we often have a strong tendency to be self-centered, believing that our own thoughts and needs are superior to those of others, and lacking sufficient empathy. However, with a deep understanding of no-self, we realize that our thoughts and opinions are not absolutely objective, but subjective. For example, a person may look down on others because of his or her profession or education. After realizing that this I is in fact very temporary and illusory, he will be able to abandon his prejudices and see everyone equally. Another example is that a person may be angry with others because they have a different point of view. After realizing that there is no absolute right or wrong viewpoint, he can be tolerant and accept different voices. We may criticize others for their mistakes, but after realizing that we are not perfect, we can forgive others and show empathy. Therefore, the concept of no-self is very beneficial to the cultivation of empathy, compassion and tolerance. This is its practical significance. What we call I is just a combination of physical disposition and various external experiences, and has no actual self-nature. By realizing no-self, one can remove attachment to self or things and live flexibly without attachment. The view of no-self reveals the emptiness and non-selfhood of all things and guides us towards liberation. Nirvana silence refers to the state of attaining the fruits of Buddhahood, transcending all troubles and sufferings, and attaining ultimate peace and happiness. Even in the midst of suffering, one can maintain inner peace. It is inevitable that we suffer from illnesses, injuries, and other afflictions in our lives. If one does not understand the silence of nirvana, it is easy to fall into despair and confusion. However, if one understands that there is indeed a realm of nirvana that is beyond suffering, we have a spiritual anchor. Even when suffering is present, remember to practice in that direction and maintain inner peace. For example, a person with a terminal illness may spend the rest of her life in fear if she does not understand Buddhism. But if she understands that the purpose of the practice is to achieve nirvana silence, she will cherish every moment now and face her illness with a calm and joyful mind. If we take nirvana silence as the ultimate goal of life, we will not lose our way and still strive to move forward even in the midst of setbacks and failures. Therefore, by establishing this ultimate goal, we can give our lives more meaning and direction. This is the significance of understanding the silence of nirvana, if we can maintain our inner purity, peace and compassion, and not get caught up in the affairs of the world, we are in a way experiencing the state of nirvana silence. The three dharma seals can help us to reduce fear and maintain peace in the face of suffering from loss of a loved one, illness, and so on. For example, if one loses a loved one in an earthquake, if one understands the principle of impermanence of all actions, one will gradually accept the fact that life is impermanent, lessen one's grief, and cherish one's time even more. Another example is that if a person suffering from a terminal illness realizes that all dermas have no self and that there is no fixed entity in life, he or she will be able to remain calm in the face of the decay and impermanence of the disease. Finally, if one establishes nirvana and silence as the ultimate goal, one will not despair even in the face of death, but will continue to practice with determination. The guidance of the three Dharma seals allows us to turn crisis into peace in the face of suffering, to be firm in our hearts, and to live out the meaning of life. It is our precious guiding light for life. The three Dharma seals allow us to see through the illusions of material pursuits and turn to elevate the spiritual dimension. For example, a person is bent on accumulating money, 
purchasing luxury items, and demonstrating success. After studying the three Dharma seals, he realizes that external acquisitions do not bring inner happiness, and that these will eventually be destroyed, so it is better to pursue spiritual upliftment. So he changed his life and lived a simple life, devoting more time to meditation, studying Buddhism, and helping others. He found that this life brought true fulfillment. This shows the guiding effect of the three Dharma seals, which allows one to understand the impermanence and selflessness of external conditions and material things, so that one can turn one's quest to the spiritual level, a higher state of being. Many practitioners have made this gradual transformation. This example illustrates how the three Dharma seals can help one transform one's view of material things and pursue a deeper meaning in life. It is a valuable guiding light for our life. The three Dharma seals can correct our outlook on life and values so that we can make progress in doing good deeds and stop wasting time in bitterness and resentment. The three Dharma seals make us emphasize inner cultivation and elimination of greed and anger, not just external behavior. A correct understanding of the three Dharma seals leads to true happiness and fulfillment. The three Dharma seals teach us to learn to live with suffering and less than satisfactory situations, which is a necessary path to growth. In summary, the three Dharma seals guide us on how to face life and achieve true peace and happiness. That's all for today, see you next time.